Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be solving a nice number theory problem in which we are given that 19 divides 7 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1, where n is a natural number. Now we want to prove that n is not a perfect square, but before we go on, consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos, and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the proof by contradiction, meaning that I'm going to assume that n is a perfect square, and then I'm going to use that assumption to get to a contradiction, and then based on that contradiction, I can say that n cannot be a perfect square. So I'm going to assume that n is a perfect square, So based on this, and based on the fact that n is a natural number, I can say that square root of n has to be a natural number. Now, any natural number, such as square root of n, can be written as 3 times some integer, or it can be written as 3 times some integer plus 1, or it is equal to 3 times some integer and then plus 2. So we have three scenarios for square root of n, and we're going to take a look at all of them. For the first one, let's say that square root of n is equal to 3k, where k is an integer. So I can square both sides to get n equals 9k squared, which can be written as 3 times 3k squared. Now notice that since k is an integer, 3 times k squared has to be an integer. So this is an integer. So I can replace it with some integer like p. Next, let's assume that square root of n is equal to 3k plus 1, where k is an integer. So from this, I can say that n equals 9k squared plus 6k plus 1. And then I can pull out a tree out of these two. And then I can say that since k is an integer, this has to be an integer. So I can replace it with p, where p is an integer. Finally, let's assume that square root of n is in the form of 3 times k plus 2, where k is an integer. So let's square both sides. n equals 9k squared plus 12k plus 4. And then let's break 4 into 3 and 1. And then let's factor out a tree out of these three. And then, similar to the other cases, this has to be an integer. So n equals 3p plus 1, where p is an integer. So we have shown that if n is a perfect square, it is in the form of 3 times some integer plus 1. Or it is in the form of 3 times some integer. So let's go ahead and write that down here. If n is a perfect square, then n is equal to 3p, or it is equal to 3p plus 1, and we know that p is an integer. So we have two scenarios for n, and now we're gonna talk about the first one, where n is equal to three times some integer. Now, notice that we were given that 19 divides seven to the power of n plus one and then minus one. 
So here, I, if I replace n with 3p, I will have 19 divides 7 to the power of 3p plus 1, and then minus 1. Now, let's go ahead and replace this number with x, and let's talk about x. First of all, let's go ahead and replace 7 to the power of 3p plus 1 with 7 times 7 to the power of 3p. And let's replace negative 1 with negative 7 plus 6. Then let's pull out a 7 out of these two. So x equals 7 times 7 to the power of 3p minus 1 and then plus 6. Notice that we can replace 7 to the power of 3p with 7 cubed to the power of p. And we know that 7 cubed is 343. So we have this. Now, notice that n is equal to 3p, and n is a natural number, and p is an integer. From all of this, I can say that p has to be a positive integer, which means that p is a natural number. And we all know that a to the power of n minus 1 can be factored as a minus 1 times a to the power of n minus 1 plus a to the power of n minus 2 plus so on and so forth plus a plus 1 if n is a natural number. So since we have p as a natural number here, we can use this identity to factor out this part of our number. So based on this identity, x is going to be equal to 7 times 343 minus 1 times 343 to the power of p minus 1 plus 343 to the power of p minus 2 plus dot 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 plus 343 plus 1 and then plus 6. Now, obviously, this part is an integer, so I'm going to replace it with some integer like q. So we have x equals 7 times 342q plus 6. Now, notice that 342 can be factored as 2 times 3 squared times 19, which means that 19 divides 342. From that, I can say that 7 times 342 times q can be written as 19 times 7 times 2 times 9 times q, and I can replace this with some integer like r, so this is equal to 19 times r, and r is an integer. So x can be written as 19r plus 6, where r is an integer. So that means that if I divide x by 19, the remainder is going to be 6, which means that 19 doesn't divide x. So we have shown that 19 doesn't divide x, and we already know that 19 does divide x. So we have a contradiction. And based on this contradiction, I can say that once n equals 3 times p, n cannot be a perfect square. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the second scenario where n is equal to 3p plus 1. So we know that 19 divides 7 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1. From this, I can say that 19 divides 7 to the power of 3p plus 2 and then minus 1. So now I'm going to call this y and I'm going to work on y y is equal to 7 to the power of 3p plus 2, and then minus 1. So I can rewrite it as 49, which is 7 squared, times 7 to the power of 3p, 
and I'm going to replace negative 1 with negative 49 plus 48. Now I can pull out 49 out of these two. So y equals 49 times 7 to the power of 3p minus 1 and then plus 48. Similar to the previous case, I can replace this with 342 times some integer like q. And then I will have y equals 49 times 342 times q and then plus 48. Again, since 19 divides 342, I can replace this part with 19 times some integer like r, right? So y is going to equal 19r plus 48. And we can replace 48 with 38 plus 10. And we know that 38 is 2 times 19, so we can pull out 19 to get y equals 19 times r plus 2 and then plus 10. And we know that r is an integer. So y is equal to 19 times some integer plus 10, which means that once I divide y by 19, the remainder is going to be 10, which means that 19 doesn't divide y. So we have shown that 19 doesn't divide y, and we know that 19 does divide y. So again, we have a contradiction. And based on this contradiction, once n equals 3 times p plus 1, n cannot be a perfect square. So in all of the cases, all of the scenarios, n cannot be a perfect square. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.